think that, I mean, is, is there a way to run the number? Do you know if it was stolen? I know I gave it to the, the person I talked to. Yeah, we can. I just would love to know, because I usually don't find out. I mean, if it is, we can't give it out. So. It's a real interesting area. It's super foggy. That is so cool, man. Yeah. Check that out. Michael just got a gun. Whoa! <laughs> it's upside down, but it holds rain better this way. It collects it in here. Nice. Dripping off the you have a nice drink after you're done scuba diving. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Now I know this intro is a little bit weird because my hair is wet and I did just get out of the water, but we're gonna get into today's video. It's gonna be a great adventure that you guys do not want to miss. I'm here with my friends Nugget Noggin, Adam Brown Adventures, Georgia River Boys, and Exploring with Nug. We've got a lot of people out here today and it's gonna be a great day to see what we can find in the river. So last time that Adam and Jeremy were here, they were able to find how many guns? Five guns. Yeah, we, five we guns. So five five guns. We found we at least ten. Yeah, at we least found, ten. Guns I mean, we found spot. one together. We yeah. found that Ruger yeah. with all like the serial numbers and everything. As you can see behind me, it's super, super foggy. I mean, there's so much fog. You can barely see the bridge back there that we're going to be diving today. But I'm looking up right now, and the water does actually look pretty visible. So it's going to be a great day of diving today. Whenever we can go to these locations and you know find the items that we do, because there's just tons of people. I don't know if you can hear it, but behind me, there's just thousands of cars every day that just travel down this interstate. So, And there's four bridges. So something tells me that we're going to find something really cool. Every single time we come here, we do. But with the support of you guys, it's just been incredible. We have over 187,000 subscribers right now. And it's just growing by the day. So I can't thank you guys enough. If you guys would like to get some merch, don't forget to head down to the link in the description below. If you want to use code DOH10, it'll get you 10% off your first purchase. All right, it's raining. As you can see, it's just it's absolutely pouring. I got Michael right there. Now I also got Johnny with Georgia River Boys. We're gonna start to try to head to the other side and uh, try to kind of keep over this way and not get swept by the current. It's gonna start raining, so the water's gonna start moving really fast, but I don't know, guys. We're gonna try it. Let's see if we can do this. All right, good luck. laptop <laughs>
I've never been over here, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Alright, here we go. Michael's got his light on. We're going to try to go over here and see if we can dive this spot. As long as we don't stir a bunch of this stuff up. He got a shotgun! Yeah. Wow! Heck yeah, man! Yeah. Wow! Holy cow! There is? Oh, dude, there's got to be more. That's a pretty old one, yeah. That is so cool, man. Check that out. Michael just got a gun. That's been a long time. That's awesome, man. Here you go. That's a cool find, man. We need two more. Yep. <laughs>
the river had seashells. <laughs> Little river seashell right there. Whoa! Everybody, it was a great day out on the river today and we are going to see what I was able to find. I'm glad that I was able to get out and dive because it did rain as you can see it was just a crazy day filled with crazy weather and a bunch of crazy finds so let's see what I was able to find today. Um, I got a couple of vape pens as you can see here some sunglasses. This had to be the craziest find of the day. This is a Hindu statue and it's one of the biggest ones I've ever found and I think it's gonna be really cool when we clean this up. And uh, who knows, it could have something inside. You never know with these. So Michael was able to find this really nice double barrel shotgun. Ancient. And I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to clean it up maybe. Clean it up maybe. Yeah, that'll be really cool. Good display. So, that's awesome. Yeah, be sure you go to Nugget Noggin's channel to check it out. That's right. I got I got a pot to cook something in. Oh yeah? I can make, you can cook us dinner? I can for... make a spell. <laughs> oh, Man, check that out, that's pretty crazy. And then a bunch of sunglasses, I guess the best that's pair would be the Ray-Ban. All right, you're going over. I'm in too deep. You're going over what you found, you're cutting this open? Yeah. Nice but not very sharp there. Very sharp. All right, long story short, there's something weird right here. God, what if it was a fish? Like, why would somebody do that to their fish? All right. Looks like uh, some witchcraft. Looks like some weird voodoo yeah, magic, man. Uh, ooh, there's something in there. Ugh. Oh, it's coming apart. Somewhat preserved. Holy. Yeah, it's nice and dry. It's, oh it's like, my. It's like flowers, is it? Oh, it's a picture. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a picture. picture. This is somebody. It's it's a, it's a, somebody. Uh, I got it on me. They did voodoo. So it looks, looks like somebody going there. through some fake uh, flowers. That is crazy. Oh, is Why would someone throw that in the river, though? Well, it's a religion. It's just it's kind of like a, a prayer, you know, like an offering. You know, it's kind of it's kind of cool. I'm glad it wasn't filled with rusty needles and and something else horrible to give me content, like right. give me something else. Adam, you're able to find this drone. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's got a uh, a memory card in it, which will be cool. Maybe yeah. you can get that back to the owners. Dude, I bet but I will. you made a great find today that we might have to call the police about. I, I did, man. I made a great find. Check it out. I found a gun. Okay, this is this is just kidding. This is an air gun. But when I saw this, I was freaking out. I really was. And I was like, you know, that's cool. But then I came shortly after. I came over this part of it, the gun barrel to a 40 caliber Taurus. That's amazing. Check and that it's out. got all the serial numbers. Yeah. Right on it. So. And you can see the serial numbers are right here on the inside. So I looked around for the rest of the gun. I didn't see it, but it has, since it has the serial numbers, I'm at least going to call the police and I'll just read them the numbers. And if they want to come out and grab it, that's up to them after that. But anytime we have serial numbers on weapon or firearms, we could always try to give them a call. You okay. So your favorite find isn't the gun? I mean, I, these are my favorite finds. <laughs> Found a 10 karat gold ring, man. Are you serious? Man, you killed What? Me that out. Man, check that thing out. That is beautiful. I don't know what else is inside of it. I don't, it says 10 k. It says see it. 10 k on it. You found that? Didn't tell us. <laughs> Why I was I was, I was I was saving I was That's saving my really favorite one. 10 carat man. You eyeballed that? Yeah. Unbelievable. Dude, I, I always eyeball. That's the second ring you've eyeballed. Since that was down there in the rapids. It was yeah. I bet you wish you would have found that, huh, Michael? Huh? Oh yeah, that's nice. I'd love <laughs> to find that. Hey, my name is Adam Brown. I was calling, uh, this is not an emergency, but I was scuba diving in the river and I came across the, a gun barrel to a pistol, a 40 caliber pistol. All right, so we just gave the police a call and I did give them the serial number to the slide, 
but it does sound like they're also going to send an officer out here to at least take a look at it. So we'll see what they say. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That'd be cool if you can get that back to the owner and yeah. and all that this stuff. Uh, yeah. I think that I mean, is is there a way to run the number? Do you know if it was stolen? I know I gave it to the person I talked to. Yeah, we can. I just would love to know because I usually don't find out. I mean, if it is, we can't give it out. So. Okay, what? We can't give it out if it is stolen or something. Like oh no, I just wanted to know if it was stolen. I don't want it back. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. We can't give out like the information if it is stolen. Oh, oh they've, they've told us told in the past. Before, right? Okay. You guys need anything else? Right. Right. Yep. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. He said he can't tell if it's stolen. There they go. Cops are leaving now. They just got the gun slide and everything they were needing. That was an interesting experience. Uh, obviously, that officer has probably seen us in videos before, but he took the gun slide. He told us that he wouldn't be able to know or give that information if it was stolen or not um i don't think that's right because uh, in the past we've had cops actually run the serial numbers right there for us and give us an answer right there so i'm not sure if you didn't want to give that information or what but um we have gotten information like that in the past uh, actually the last officer who came out here was super super helpful actually told us that it was stolen in 2009 from atlanta one of the pistols that we were able to find but if you enjoyed the video don't forget to press that like button subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode. All right, so we're just leaving the dive site and Michael Look behind you, man. It's going down. Looks like someone just uh, hit and ran that car. Who knows? So, hope everything's okay. Jeremy, Adam, say something to the camera before the video ends. Uh, pineapples. Pineapples, <laughs> what's your word? I have a tick in my belly button. Wow.